Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maxil Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see virtual base class in C++ programming language. Also, we will see diamond problem and how virtual base class is used to solve this diamond problem. But before proceeding towards programming, we will see this diagram. This diagram is also called a diamond class inheritance diagram. This diagram shows hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance means when we combine many types of inheritance together, it, called, it is called as hybrid inheritance. In this diagram, there are two types of inheritance. One is hierarchical inheritance and another is multiple inheritance. So see here, class A, we are inheriting to class B and class C. So this is hierarchical inheritance and then we are inheriting class B and class C to class D. This is multiple inheritance. So we are combining together and that's why it becomes hybrid inheritance. And this is called as diamond class inheritance diagram. And this is this leads to the diamond problem. Now what is a diamond problem? Now see. Suppose class A has some variables and functions. So as we are inheriting class A to class B and class C, so variables and functions, both variables and functions of class A are inherited to class B and also in class C. Now see, if we inherit B and C together to class D, so class A variables and functions will come to class D via B and also class A variables and functions will come to D via this C and because of that there will be two copies of every variable and every function into this class D. One copy that will come via B and one copy that will come via C and this is called as diamond problem. And to solve this diamond problem, we have to use virtual base class. So we'll see program and how we get the problem that we'll see. And after that, solution to this diamond problem, that is, we are inheriting this class A by making it virtual. So that also we'll see. Now, look at this. So this is class A. Now see, we are inheriting this class A to class B and class C. Likewise, shown in this diagram. See, class A, we are inheriting to class B and class C. Then, in class D, we are inheriting class B and class C. Like this. We are inheriting class B and class C to class D. Now, see, here, class A has variable a and similarly class b has variable b class c has variable c class d has variable t then we are creating one object of class d and to all these variables we are allocating some value so d is from uh, class d c is from class c b is from class b and a is from class a and then we are printing their values so we will run this program Now see, here we are getting one error. Request for member A is ambiguous. So see here we are trying to allocate value uh, 40 to A. So we are getting one error. What is the error? A is ambiguous. Why is this ambiguous? Because here we have seen. So variable A was from A. Now it come to B and also it has come to C. And now it is coming to D, right? And when we create object of D, and uh, this uh, we are allocating value to A, which has come from B also and C also. That is the ambiguity. Now there are two copies of variable A, and because of that we are getting this error. Now to solve this, when we are inheriting this class A to class B and C. We have to make it virtual. So here we have written virtual. Now we are inheriting class A 
as virtual and also we are inheriting here class A to class C as a virtual class and because of that what will happen there will be single copy of A there will be single copy of A which get inherited to D now see in previous case we have seen there were two copies of class A to in D now as we have made it virtual while uh, inheriting we have made it virtual so because of that now there will be single copy of A into this D and by writing this keyword virtual we have done now we will save this program and we will run this so now see we did not get any error and we have run this program so see d is equal to 10 c is equal to 20 b is equal to 30 a is equal to 40 so in previous case there was problem with a because a is from class a and there were two copy and that's why we got the error that is the ambiguity there was ambiguity as it was inherited to b and it was inherited to c and via b and c it has come to class d that was the ambiguity we have avoided that ambiguity by inheriting this class a as a virtual inheritance we are uh, inheriting it virtually now see uh, here we have written virtual keyword here but suppose we want to write suppose here in before a so that is also possible see here i have written before a i have written this virtual keyword before a i have saved this program and now again if i uh, compile this so no error so we can do like this also virtual keyword we can write before a class a so if i run this so we got the output the same way previously we got the output so this is called as a virtual base class and virtual base class is used to solve diamond problem in c++ programming language so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you